start with this is the traditional local fulfillment uh, model. So here you have that everything comes from the China and the typical ways that you move them to, let's say, the US, for example. And then you will use like England's local fulfillment here. And this is great if you want to do DDB sales. But then, of course, you have to be, or somebody needs to be the importer of the record. So you have to pay the duties and taxes at the time that you know products are brought into the country. Another thing is also that you are liable for all the regulations in the country. So labeling, materials, having you know the safe material safety documents, everything applies to you if you go through this route. Here we mean that you know your product comes from the uh, factory, comes to the warehouse in Hong Kong or the Shenzhen side, and then we ship it uh, directly to the end user. So this is great because here this end user becomes the importer, and here because this is a personal import, um, um, it, it might be eligible for reduced duties and taxes. Like the minimis rules would be applied here. Uh, in this case, too, that you don't, the product doesn't need to confirm all the rules and regulations that are in the country. So no labeling, no requirement for local uh, manuals. This works really well for small items, lightweight small items, less than one kilo. So the smaller and lighter and cheaper your product is, the better this actually becomes. Then the last one, this is something quite new, especially kind of built and tailored for these crowdfunding back order type of uh, projects. So this is a way where we talk about the middle mile and we talk about the last mile here. But the middle mile for our case here can be, is usually we, we actually ship from here. So uh, it doesn't need to go to bonded warehouse, this could be also like the, the, the Korea warehouse here. But fundamental idea here is that when your products come out of the China, Already in China, we will uh, attach last mile labels. So this will be the, the last mile US label or last mile Europe label yeah, on, on the products. And then you use ocean or air to ship them to, let's say, the US. But here, you have the same thing as in the, the, the option one. You have to be the IOR or somebody needs to be the IOR. Because now you're bringing 5,000 products into the US but they are declared as a one shipment. So you, you will still have that IOR issue here. But if you're okay with that one, then um, you know, this is a uh, you know, fairly simplified model where then after the customs, you can use the local uh, career rates. And this typically versus option two, you can save, I would say at least 20%.